Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at using the macros in ProPresenter 7 to control your countdown timers. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the countdown macro so that way it will clear any background that you have going currently. So if you have a pre-service -pre loop that's going, it'll clear that because if you have it, something with a timer, it'll just keep going through it even after you click off it if you don't clear the layer. So it'll clear that, it'll pick a countdown timer for you and it will also start your countdown timer. So it basically saves you a couple clicks which makes things so much easier. So what you want to do is in the little area over here on the right, um, there's this little M It's for macros. So you want to click that, click the plus. You can name it whatever you want. I usually, ours is just called um, start timer. And then once you do that, you can then right click in it. You can change the color if you want it to be something different, if you want it to trigger on startup, or if you want to have an action. So what we want it to do first is we want it to clear all. So that will clear any backgrounds. So like right now, if I click it, it'll clear that background. Then we want to go in here and we want to add action. We want to do timer. We're going to do start timer because that's what we have it called. And then we're going to set the configuration. So this will set whatever time we want it to be. So we'll do five minutes and then we'll do 10 seconds over or as additional just to start the live stream and everything else that we need to start. Then you can click off that. And then you'll see right now, if we have the background going, if we click this, it'll go ahead and clear that and start that. But so now the one thing extra we want it to do is go back into here, go to add action, and we want it to do a media playlist. And we're going to do countdowns. Yeah. So now when you click this, it'll start the countdown, start the timer, and it will clear the background. So one thing to keep in mind, in because we're using a smart playlist here, you can use the other options here. You just need to drag it in front of it and then it'll pick whatever one's in front. On our main service, we have like seven or eight of these different ones and I just usually drag whatever one matches the backgrounds that will be on the first song first. So that way, you know, you can kind of keep it, keep it changing every week pretty, pretty seamlessly. But yeah, that's basically all you need to do. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and a no. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get to them. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already.